Hey, it's Tozakul here, finally, in Westminster, my friends. I wanted to comment firstly on the fact that, uh, whoop, wrong way, that apparently Tozakul is absolutely ripped now. I mean, look at this man. What the hell happened during his adventures, huh? He's lost the beer belly and he's gained, like, <laughs> 40 pounds of muscle. My man looks insane. So anyway, here we are, back in Fallout London. Apologies for, again, I a lot of... I do hope Father is proud of me. I really, I've never wanted to decapitate someone more, uh, other than Sebastian Gaunt, of course, which I'll get onto in a second, because slightly controversial, uh, uh, perhaps, uh, take on that in the comments. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're just gonna plow ahead as per usual. Now, no more pre-recording. No more four days of non-stop Tozuckle. I'm sure by the end of that recording series, I was once again, uh, totally frazzled. But hey, that's it. I'm now free. Free as a bird for the next few weeks. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna schedule anything. I'm not gonna do anything with my life. I just wanna sit here, do my job, and everybody's happy. Did we already get the, the, the mat out of here? I came back because I thought I'd, I'd completely blown past it. But no, apparently we've already grabbed the, the beer coaster. Anyway, a uh, few things of note then that I've written down here. Lots of people said that the post boxes, because I said, why, why would you invent that other than a practical joke? Lots of people said that they were invented for, uh, to, to help, basically, to help with the postal service. But they were a little bit too rambunctious, you know, with a little haywire in their approach. So, fair enough. I Am see I why now. I don't know why you wouldn't just retire idiot. them, take them Which off the street, but there you are. Uh, somebody said, so, so someone was just like, give yourself a look, leader perk. But I saw another comment that said, you apparently don't need it in Fallout London. You just need two perks in the appropriate skill, so I'll look into that and we'll try and build ourselves a settlement to make everything far more convenient for building weapons and swapping stuff around and that type of thing. So on the subject of that, someone else also said swap back to the other machete blade because that one does poison and bleed, so they do stack up together, which is quite nice. And then finally, another important comment I wrote down here was that the semi-skimmed textures uh, and the skimmed milk textures were swapped accidentally. So that's good. Uh, and those are the smell? very important things that I've written oh, down. It's you. And now we're going to carry on with the quest for the Vagabonds. You know, that was the, kind of the reason why I started coming over to Westminster in the first place. Somebody, I did see a comment from someone, I forgot to write this down, who said that it would be hilarious if Smythe is your son and the story is identical to Fallout 4's. That would be amazing. He runs a secret underground organization. Welcome to the Enneas. Tizzy. Are you a member? Tizzy. Ah, uh, I'm here to... Uh, uh, all right then, love. I'm here to meet Pete the Fence. I was told to be expected. I'm afraid I'm not expecting anyone matching your uh, description. Tizzy? Tizzy? Perhaps I don't know you what are name not is. quite dressed correctly Charisma for the occasion. Get her ass. Yeah, can't you just forget about that for a moment? I'm afraid we have oh. a respectable business. We can't carry on with the Vagabond's quest because apparently we don't meet the dress code. Here. Do come back when you meet the... Uh, Dress code. Absolutely insane. What's wrong with this, huh? And his stained boxes in his gas mask. D is there anything I've even got that would let me... Oh, dear. Barmy top hat. I've got a fedora. Oh. Fedora and a jacket. Is that good enough? Um. Oh, dear. Oh, no. He's starting to look at all the Wilson Fisk in that, isn't he? Oh, dear. Uh, Vickers vestments. I could pretend to be a religious man. Oh, yeah. That looks good. Uh, hello, Welcome I'm here to back. tell you about the Lord. You gonna let me in now? Of course, of course. But, uh, I was quite Actually, assured uh, that's you enough. would not be I bearing can't any it. weapons in this establishment. I must insist I you cannot remove believe them that was enough. entering. <laughs> uh, uh, listen. Can I leave him with you? He is the weapon. He doesn't need it. The sword's just a suggestion. But of course. Please come collect them when you leave. I wonder if it's similar to Fallout New Vegas that you can keep, like, certain little satisfying. weapons, like the holdout weapons. Okay. Well, we've got no weapons anymore. We have to grab it from the, uh... To grab it from there when we're ready to go. I can't believe they consider we're dressed for the occasion like this with our vicar's vestments and our fedora, but okay, fair enough. The gentry. Hello, the gentry. Nice to see you all. Oh, hello. Hello, madam. Lovely top hat who we'll have there. Oh, bobby pins in the fridge. How ironic. The fridge that I'm probably going to steal from. Oh, this is lovely. I do like the I design for Westminster. Father it's totally unlike anything we've seen in uh, Fallout before, huh? I'm like, master. Don't think I'd ever get that open in a hurry. Oh, dear. Same with that one, huh? Let's go raid the kitchen, because you know it is Tozuckle. He's conquered all the chippies. And now I'm going to uh, steal all your food. Oh, I can't steal all your food. Door open. Oh. <gasps> Shotguns in the freezer. Oh, it's like Cluedo, isn't it? How amazing. So, uh, with regards to the Sebastian um, Gaunt thing, somebody leave a comment 
And it's fair comment, saying that it's slightly less enjoyable to watch with you constantly berating Sebastian Gaunt. However, uh, in my defense, I... I think it's reasonable. Uh, I, I think the temperature in the room is everyone's kind of on the same page with that, to be honest, from what I can from what I can ascertain. He is such a bizarre character. And I promise it comes Maybe from a, I'll visit a place of love, not a sometime. place of criticism. See it, it almost seems like a game of live. two parts, because I find the Smythe stuff uh, super compelling, but the Sebastian Gorn at the Vagabonds, it, it feels like it was written by a totally different team altogether. And the, as I've said before, the problem with one of those uh, kind of lovable lovable rogues with a heart of gold is you actually have to show the heart of gold and the first thing that sebastian is shown doing is abandoning his own man and leaving them to die so we can I go fight the isle of dogs absolute mug so i don't i i just i just don't don't get it and again this is a channel where i just play games for fun clearly i'm enjoying the game otherwise we wouldn't be here doing it in the first place right there's no i'm not behooved to do anything on this channel unlike the main channel that pays my bills and even then i do what i want on that right um but especially here uh, it, it I, I don't like... I've seen a lot of, let's call them transactional playthroughs of this game with streamers where they've loaded it up. Okay, squad, today we're playing Fallout London. We're going to blast through main quest People only five minutes. Attitude. No uh, taking in anything. No exploring the characters. Anything like that. Get through to the end. Thanks for watching. See you all tomorrow when we play the next game. And I don't like doing that. I, I want to try and understand. And Sebastian Gaunt is such a mystery to me that I can't even begin to... Excuse me. We're like, it, it's almost like here. how rude they've written him specifically a for you to hate him yours, to set you up as his replacement. No. And I don't, I don't like think that. So. What do you want? As a story element, I think it's kind of lazy. Anyway, we'll, we'll see how it plays out. Maybe the story is totally different, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what goes on with that, huh? Um, Johnny Shrepnel sent me. Says you've got to get out of town and leave behind your ledger. Bear in mind, we're doing everything to back the lieutenants because they've actually been half decent to us, whereas Sebastian Gaunt has been, again, a horrible, awful man from the beginning. Old Johnny. Damn. And if I don't do what he says? Uh, then Johnny will be sad to see an old friend die. Oh. Huh. Like that, is it? Well, I suppose I should be glad of the choice. No weapons. I thought this day would come sometime. Ain't entirely nice what I did on old Johnny. But business is what it is. You think Johnny's shrapnel? And I've had a good run of it. I can't complain about being forced into retirement. Especially with how things have been turning for the shrapnel has the shrapnel lately. from this You're bloke. the one, ain't you? There's been talk of some new blood in the Vagabonds fucking things over for the Syndicate. Though you don't look like much. Here, what the hell? Have the ledger. Well, uh, to be fair, I didn't come in dressed like a vicar. Without a good gabber behind it. Relationships ain't made with bits of paper. And you two. Now that I'm going, fuck you and all you Ponzi gentry twats. I've had enough of sniveling in your shit. <laughs> Go fuck yourselves. Oh, well, that was easy, huh? No blood in to be shed. Well, well, the commoners really can't change, can they? Bill and Ben. That's a good reference. And They're the flower pot such men. a respectful business relationship. A shame. And you, vagabond. What do you want? Why do the ghouls sound like people? Ah... Uh, Peter's gone, the syndicate crippled. Why not do business with the vagabonds instead? A business proposition? Very forward. Very stupid. What would we gain from switching allegiance from the Isle of Dogs to a minor gang? Nah. Oh, dear. The vagabonds are on the rise, and this is your chance to deal with the real future of London. No charisma check here, Deluded. I'm afraid. Deluded. Insane. Nice hats, mind. Huh. Thank but you. Business is business. Offer rejected. Now, if you'll excuse us. Hmm. Hmm. I hope that doesn't lead to anything, uh, problematic, huh? Well, we'll see where it goes. I'm in touch. In a hurry. So, an important meeting. Back we go then to the man, the myth, the legend, Sebastian <laughs> Gaunt himself. Again, maybe they'll. Maybe maybe they'll find a way to resolve it all in a satisfactory way. Maybe there is some deep, dark reason about why Sebastian Gaunt's like such a monster. I, I mean, I'm going to assume. I don't think we've been told this. And yeah, I mean, it's a fair point to say maybe I should have spoken to his character more. But when the character does absolutely nothing to endear you from the get-go, I have absolutely no interest in a role-playing game of speaking more to a character that I don't enjoy hearing. Right? So, I kind of self-writes in that regard. But... Maybe there is some incredible reason 
other than a tale of revenge why he's doing this. And, and, and I, again, I don't remember if they told us that, but again, I assume he's just is what, his family were killed? That's kind of par for the course in Fallout, though, isn't it? He just doesn't a good leader make. I feel like they would have mutinied a long time ago. And now I might get to kill him, and that'll be fun. <laughs> he seems like he was written by someone who watched Peaky Blinders and thought they were the good guys, you know? Really loved the film about the Cray brothers. They're so charismatic. And here we are. Sweet dear London. But maybe I'm just not. Again, maybe I've only experienced the bad bits, and I haven't dug enough to get to the good bits. So I'll, I'll always try and keep a bit of an open mind here. The post box was designed and built by Upton Burke to help the overincome of Crown Mail postage service. It was not received well after the incident. I assume the incident is it killed someone, right? Fair enough. Someone said probably too many vaults and returns. Ah, and here we are, the Swan and Mitre. Oh, I didn't pick my fucking weapons back up. Did I? Ch please tell me they just go back in your inventory. Okay, I will just go and sit through three more loading screens then. See you all later. What? What do you mean the owner will try and take it back? That's my stuff. Fuck off. Try it, and I swear to God, you're going to find out whose weapons they really are. I hope that doesn't cause us any problems down the line. <laughs> Was I supposed to speak to him and say, please, can I have my weapons back there? I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm already being pushed around by everyone as it is, for fuck's sake. Um, acne. Where do we want to go? I don't know. We'll, we'll head to there first. I think that's one last loading screen. Return to Gaunt. Uh, has he gone outside? What the fuck? What the hell? <laughs> Is he back outside again? Gaunt? Gaunt? Wait, I thought they'd be sat in here Did still, your though. mum teach you better? Shut up. Um, oh, maybe they are actually outside. What the hell? I walk right past him. Oh, I do love around. loading screens. Look where you're going. Let's try again. Hold on. And out we... Oh, what was that? Oh, this is a bloody poster. Out we go. And I think there are better ways... Sorry, to go, I keep, keep going back to this point. I should really just write all this down and talk about it in an actual video at some point. But uh, listen. Who am I? Who am I to comment on such things? Oh, here we are. Uh, it, does, it doesn't matter too much. But I do think there's better ways to endear you to a faction and not the leader. So you can be their replacement. I think many games have done it better. By having you... Oh, I mean... I, listen... It's a passion project by a team. So I'm not going to compare it to a triple-A game. But if I did, it would be a massive compliment, eh? The butcher is back. Job's all done, I hope. He's probably going to threaten to kill me, and then I'm going to kill him. Everything's Good. complete. Where's Nelson? He'll have his ear to the ground on what folks are saying. Nelson. Sebastian? Nelson. Man, I asked you to keep an ear out about Black's lieutenants. What's the word? Well, interesting stuff afoot, to be sure. John Lockheed's gone entirely missing. But separately, there are reports of a horrible scene in a Millwall flat. Someone torn to absolute pieces. So that'll be chill. Body in no way identifiable. Chill, Winston. Let's talk of maybe some crazed chemed doing it. Winston, what the fuck have you done? You sick little shit. That's the only one I didn't agree Enforcer with. Enforcer Sinclair <laughs> is an interesting case. A bunch of her goons are dead in the factory over Newham. But her body ain't anywhere to be found. There's a rumor going around that some of her slaves fought back and fed her to her pet. True justice, they're calling it. Damn it. This fairy tale shit is not what I fucking wanted. And last but not least is Peter the Fence. Uh -huh. News is he's scarpered, fled the city, and with a major chunk of the syndicate's capital too, by all accounts. Unbe fucking leaveable. Some butcher you've turned out to be. Don't think he's happy about Did it. you get the ledger, at least? Uh, Disappointing, don't even begin to cover this. What will people think of us now? Course, word on the street don't matter so much as what Black knows. And he knows, I'm sure. He'll see that this were all the vagabonds' work. Might take him some time to regroup his dogs, but when he hits back, he'll hit back hard. We could be talking total annihilation if we ain't ready. Spare me the damned apocalypse talk, Nelson. I'll deal with Black. For now, dismissed. As you will. He didn't seem as what pissed off as I expected. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Are you terminally insubordinate? I tell you to kill Lockheed, and you let this sick pile of shit over here slice him into fucking human stew. 
I tell you to kill Sinclair and make it obvious, and you instead listen to Antony's I stupid, tell you to kill Sinclair and turn her into human stew, and you didn't do and it. Peter, you let that fucking snake live. I don't entirely Shit disagree like with that. comes back to bite you. The whole point here was to send a message, and instead you've just caused bloody chaos. And you lot, you utter pack of clowns, egging on the new mug with your personal shite. Are you trying to sabotage Whoa. the whole damned the vagabond fuck? cause here? Are you ruining everything I'm trying to achieve? You're a disgrace, the lot of you. A disgrace. You all on the fucking chopping block. Now you, you're dismissed. Get out of my sight, you useless shite. Let me kill him. Vagab Vagabonds aren't your personal revenge group. I like it. Are they, why, why are you the only one that's allowed revenge, Sebastian Gaunt? You better shut your damned trap, wave Yeah, give him back, Because chat. you're in major risk of having it blown off. Now fuck off. More bodies getting no, shot. No, fucking have him. Never hurt anything. Finish the man off. Finish the damn job. You're the one helping out. Good to see ain't everybody out to get us. Oh, that's a bit merchant. Touch breaking. me again, and there'll be consequences. I can't take you seriously with your uh, railway announcer voice, I'm afraid. Got a note came in for you on an urgent delivery. Oh, okay. Me. Oh, hello. There you are. Nelson's note. Uh, cheers. Huh? Do you feel that? Uh... Feel what? I feel almost like there's a storm coming. Like something big is about to happen that's going to flip everything over. Something doesn't feel right. I don't like this. I'm going to go scout the perimeter. If you see any decapitated vagabonds, don't know a damn thing about it. Whee! Just losing their heads. Whee! Right, let's go uh, do a little weapon customization. Well, that's the armor workbench. Don't need that one. Hello! Right, so let's. Oh, what is this? This is Bryce that we found. That's right, Bryce Blade. I still don't know what the fuck this is. Hold on, we could put the sacrificial blade on that. Whoa. Okay. So this one, target bleeds and is poisoned. Exceptional damage. Does 168 for three. Oh. My mother oh, I me see. To be a right, farmer. that's just the machete. I get my hands dirty in other ways. Right, and then the serrated sacrifice. Oh, look, it's better. Oh, it does less poison damage, though. Ah. Oh. So let's rebuild that. Let's have a look at Bryce. So what does that do? 119. Sorry, 100 damage and then 19 extra. So it plays 134 Bryce blade. Oh, so hold on. If I take, sorry, if I take the blade off of that and slap it on Bryce, then it's better. More bodies getting shite hold done on. and never hurt anything. No upgrade. Take it off. Yeah, take it off. It's 100 and... So it's 100 damage and 19 extra. We go back to Bryce... And we put the sacrificial blade on that. That's 168 and three. What's that? Three poison, but it also does bleed. Is that not like way better? Do you think? Should we give it a go? Fuck it. Let's give it a go then, eh? Without the requirements to create this item. What the fuck are you talking about? Did that just disappear. Oh no! Sacrificial blade. It's on it. My mother wanted me to be a farmer. Oh, I hate him. But I get my hands dirty in other ways. I'm gonna fucking kill him. <laughs> uh, also, we can upgrade this concrete hammer, baby. Standard puncturing. Oh, good God, that's strong, isn't it? Armor piercing, exceptional damage. Chance to cripple extra limb damage, superior damage. Targets bleed, better damage. So we put the bleed on it, and then what? We just go like... Better grip for better swings. Okay. And that just reduces weight. Okay, we'll stick that on it then. We'll see if that's any good. Ah, oh, that could be fun. Um, get rid of that. Oh, what about the baseball bat? Let's see what upgrades we can chuck on there then, huh? Holy fuck, it's all science though, isn't it? Oh, that's a shame. 94 very far seems good. I need someone to do a proper DPS breakdown of this for me because this is too many numbers. That's a lot of words. <laughs> too bad I ain't reading them. What else have we got here? You can make it out of aluminium and then you could stick a fucking rocket on it. That's good. Yeah, we like that. Shame we're never going to be able to do any signs, but that's fine. Um, Yeah, let me have a flick through here. See if I can find some fun stuff for us to mess around with. Hey, right, okay, there you go. That's about all I can handle with weapon crafting whilst listening to this if guy. If you hang around, wouldn't hurt none. We well, need the never. numbers. Excuse me. Didn't your mum teach you better? Your mum wanted you to be a farmer, but you get your you hands dirty in other ways. You have the of a drunkard. What did he just say? I have the what of a drunkard? I mean, I am. That doesn't mean you got to say it. <laughs> right, sorry, let's get our, our gear back on. Let's go back to good old-fashioned Tozuckle. So make that aluminium baseball bat, because it does 104 very fast. Again, I'm not sure how the... Let's just look at DPS, surely. 
Uh, the knuckles. No, see, DPS doesn't work for, for melee weapons. Right, fair enough. Yeah, I guess we'll try out Bryce, because that seems to be fucking cracked. Let's put that on two. Let's put that on... No, no, no. Put the explosive shotgun on three. I've got muscle memory for that now. Um, yeah, that's good. Then we got that combat rifle. We've only got eight 303 rounds, so we do need to get some more of that, and then I can sell all this other crap. Oh. Oh, I don't know what this weapon that we've made has got much higher base damage, hasn't it? Is the bleeding based on the base damage? Because if so, this is going to be vile. Sorry, let's get dressed for the occasion, you know. Right, uh, what did I have on? Boom, boom. Let's go extras instead. Um, yeah, that'll do, that'll do. Put the top hat back on. You know I've missed it. Uh, force a jacket. That takes everything else off, right? No. Ooh. It takes the uh, chest plate off. Ah, uh, fair enough. Um, exterminate his arm. What else do I have on? Left leg, right leg, chest piece. And then... This was just those two, huh? We got left leg. No, I think I prefer the lock. Gather a cape, utility belt. Beautiful. Are we back to oh, we're back to the old tell Zuckle we know and lock. Look at that. Shot done, never hurt anything. Nope. More body shot done, never hurt, never, never hurt anything. What's the play then? We've got another quest. Uh read Nelson's note. Is Nelson gonna be the one to cut us in? Oh shit, that would be cool, eh? And then we've also got seven cute thulas. Wait, what do we need? We need nine, right? No, no, no. Eight, sixteen total. Wait, no, I put seven. I think we needed 16 total. I think I need two more. I think. Oh, fucking hell. Okay. Um, sorry. No, no, no. It helps to have a note. What was it? A vet's note? Well, oh, fuck. This is gonna... No, Nelson's note. There we are. Beautiful. Wayfarer. Nelson's... <coughs> Nelson's command center here. Yeah? Shift yourself up to my room. Got a proper crucial job for you. Keep it harsh. Mum's the word. I've stashed my radio in my gaff for privacy. Once you get your mitts on the radio, tune into the designated frequency. The next moves. Time's ticking. Don't muck about. Got every faith in your skills. Can't wait to see you nail the job. It's just good business. Nelson. Three kisses. Fucking weirdo. You didn't fucking kiss me, you little freaky man. Huh? At least buy toads at dinner first and maybe he'll consider it. You don't just do kisses up front like that. Unbelievable. Hello? Oh, it's Nelson, everyone. I thought you said, hush, hush, mum's the word. Man's fucking screaming through it. Hello. Uh, 10-4, apricot. Ah, young plum. Glad to finally hear you. Listen, listen quick. I've had a word that Black is going to flee the city via his personal biplane at London plane. City Airport. He'll take a bit of time to gather his bits. I need you to get down to his personal train and intercept him alone. Why? Nelson's a double agent. We can't risk it. A big force might get noticed and spook out Black. Besides, I'm Fuck. told that a cover force is being sent to attack Bromley. We all need all we can to protect our home. All right. Good. Get to it. Nelson's a double agent. This is a setup. We're going to meet it. He's going to say, I'm so glad you came. Nelson's told me a lot about you. You want to join me? Talk to Gaunt. Not fucking doing that. He's an absolutely no respect for me at all. So that's never fucking happening. Could not trust that man as far as I could throw it. It's, you know, me, not us, when it comes to Sebastian Gaunt. My revenge, not your revenge. Though, again, I do not agree with what we did with Chill Winston. And I, maybe we should have killed that guy to stop him fleeing You've town. I do agree with that. You know that. Oh, hello. Ah, Flash, man. Ah. Oh, hello. Ah. Oh, fuck. Oh, my, my knife. Ah. Oh, my knife. Ah. Holy shit. You fuck yourself now, mate. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay. Okay, I can fuck with that. So I'm trying to turn my light on. It's trying to level me up. Private Tommy. Hello, Private Tommy. Um, give me a razor grain. Give me a pepper. Oh, spices in England. You sailed halfway around the globe for spices and didn't use them. <laughs> That's my favourite joke. <laughs> Fucking old people had to sit through rationing during a war. I didn't use spices. Can you believe that? That's mad. That's crazy. I mean, they don't. So I'm not. I'm not arguing with that. Have you know? I have quite a sizable spice rack. Quite a quite a heaving spice rack. If you would like to see it. I had to buy an extra spice rack because I had too many spices. And even then, I had to fill the cupboard up with spices because well, I got too many. That. I just fucking love spices. See, now this doesn't yeah, quite yeah, me as um, maybe oh, being a yeah. double agent anymore. Oh, no, because we got, we got to take the train over. Maybe these guys don't know it. Maybe they're not, like, in on it. But it's a bit cruel. 
That's like Sebastian Gaunt level bullshit. We gotta, we gotta break this whole system down, man. And we gotta rebuild it. We gotta rebuild it better for the people, you know. And that's where I'm coming in. Tozuckle. He's got no, he's got no aspirations to greatness. Okay. He just wants to get on with his life, crack a few jokes, drink a few drinks, smoke a few cigarettes, which I'd almost forgotten about. Okay. And he wants an easy life. In the shed, away from the missus. Oi. Give me some, uh, what are we going to go for here then, Hart? Let's sort by extras again. Let's have a cigarette. Let's calm the nerves. Oh, let's have, oh, fuck. I've got to put those in a container. Every time I drop them, we end up picking them back up. Transfer, yes. Bloody dev chest. Get, uh, Calmex, is it called? Yes, take it, go away. If you loot that automatically, I swear to God. All right there. How's it going? Yeah. Twat. <laughs> oh, hello. There was another one. Bloody hell, they're everywhere. They're all over the place. Okay, where are we off to then? Activate chain. What, how's that helped? They barred the door. I mean, yeah, surely it's in being... What's that doing on top there? How's that going to fucking help? <laughs> Speaking of someone who knows how to lay a plank at this point. Speaking of which, I was laying another floor today. I loved doing my dining yeah, room so much. I thought I'd do the away. kitchen. Oi, oi. By which I mean, I had planks left over. And I thought, actually, this is nice enough yeah. to do the kitchen and replace the... Really I'll cheap, horrible, brown stained lino oh. that was in there. Lads, straight out of the 80s. <laughs> so I ripped that, that shit prick. out. I could see her. I could see my mum. I can see me mum. I see your mum too on Friday's night, lad. Whee! Personal train. Much like your mum. Yeah! <laughs> I love the threatening dance they go into. Bash, man. Oh, God, this knife's good. Yeah. Fucking yes. I'll get. Yeah. I'll get. Yeah, he says with his head lying on the floor. Oh, I didn't get to loot that stuff. God damn it. What do you think? You think Nelson's a double agent? He's setting us up. Let's find out what's going on, huh? Unless he is. I mean, maybe I'm, I'm seeing shadows where there aren't any. Maybe this is just the case that, uh, you know, Nelson, Nelson was being sincere. Oh, we're under attack. We need you to go and do this. Maybe he just doesn't want Gaunt going down a darker path than he's already going down. Maybe he's doing it for his legitimate friend. What? Why you be legitimate friends with that prick of a man? That's... I don't quite understand. <laughs> I think a good way to do a lovable rogue. Tough exterior, but, you know, yeah. I'm not going to say heart of gold, but certainly good morals, loyal to his friends, which I think is a key part when you're the leader of any organization, lest you face a big old mutiny. Right there, I'll get stop getting shot. I think oh. is uh, Billy Butcher from The Boys. Now look, The Boys writing has gone downhill. I'll be the first to say it. No spoilers, of course. I'm not going to say what I think is wrong it. But ultimately, he's, he's an, an absolutely awful, uncommunicative, uh, uncommunicative man from Start to finish. Oh, beautiful. One more cute Zulu, and I think we've got it, you know. And he's a real piece of shit. He's an awful person. Mm. But when push comes to shove, he sacrifices himself for his friends. And again, the first thing we saw Sebastian do was abandon his... Abandon a bloke who'd effectively yeah. taken a bullet for him and his organization, right? Oh, it's a turret. Yeah. I don't know where the fuck that last shot came from. I think if they'd have kicked it off with You lot go ahead and I'll stay here and make sure he's okay. I'll make sure this silly 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 bugger's okay, then I'd have been like, you know what, that's that deserves some respect. Fair enough. He might be a prick and he might be rude, but he stands for his own. Fucking oh, That's like that train in Jedi Academy, isn't it? Which I think I've done a playthrough of on this channel. Short double barrel shotgun. Don't mind if I do. I'm gonna get plenty of bloody ammo from this, aren't we? Keep an eye out for that final, I think, final cute Thulu doll. I'm sure, I must have missed one. Is that him? Hello there. How you doing? Why is terminal? Oh, uh, try this side. Beep. Hello there. It's Blind Nelson. What a fucking shocker. Have I just called it? Ah, young plum. You made it at last. Uh, did you get a guide dog to take you here? Oui. I don't like using deception, much as I should be used to it by now. But Black is comfortably sitting in his office in Canary. Shocker. This train goes right there, in fact. I don't control it, mine. All done remotely. 
I've got a little signaler here to tell the syndicate chaps to trigger it once we've had a little chat. I really hope I haven't predicted the whole story with the Smythe thing as well. Otherwise, I'm going two for two. Uh, what's this about, Nelson? I'm afraid the lies go back many years. It's Gabriel's fault, really. He made me promise. Take a proper oath that if anything were to happen to him, that I'd keep his lad Sebastian safe. So when Black killed Gabriel and told me to become an informer or he'd slaughter Sebastian too, what were I to do? Okay, so I was kind of like paid me from both sides. Just to add to the shame. I'm almost glad he took my eyes out so I don't have to face myself in the mirror. And I've been acting turncoat for 10 years now, feeding the syndicate intel, pushing back against oh, Sebastian's it more is aggressive both, both plans. Is true. Sebastian don't have a clue. It's because he's fucking thick and doesn't communicate with anyone. Uh, was it worth it? Uh, we're not going to say, you, oh, you fucking tricks. I'm going to loyalty to the vagabonds. Perhaps. The thing is, I've kept the vagabonds under the radar. Reigning in aggression, not overstepping on the syndicate's toes. It's only by staying small that we've stayed alive. Until you came along. I knew you were special when the boys brought you in. But I didn't think you'd upset things this much. You've brought success after success for the gang. I know you haven't made everyone happy. You've certainly made Sebastian bolder, more fired up. Now this is good. Now he thinks he can take on Black with no challenge. It's mad. He ain't got a clue just how big Black really is. How impossible any war against him would be. I like this because so, this explains why this. Nelson was such a prick Sebastian at the start. Sebastian has become his own enemy. The biggest threat to his own survival. What am I to do? Stick behind him and let him get himself killed. Taking all the vagabonds with him. I'll take or him out. something else. Uh, what are you suggesting? Look, Black's an evil bastard. There is no denying that. But he understands how the world works. He sent me to give you an offer now. Betray the vagabonds and join with him. Otherwise, the vagabonds will get wiped out by him anyway. But it'll be slow and painful and leave half of East London in ruins. That's the situation. Accept Black's offer and you that can go and see him right sounds like we haven't really right got now. a choice. I mean... There has to be another way. Perhaps you see more than me, young plum. But I don't know any other way out of this. I'm not going to commit either way if I can track. avoid it. Uh... If Gaunt's attitude of revenge at all costs has gotten us this far, I know there are plenty of the gang who are sick of his endless fighting. What if we pursue a ceasefire instead? Peace between the vagabonds and the syndicate. I like that. Uh, think about it. If we keep our respective territories and stop sacrificing every young person to the altar of violence, we could achieve so much more for Bromley. Whee! <laughs> now that's a thought. You know, it almost gives me hope. And you? Yeah. Maybe you could make We'll go back happen. and Gaunt will say, no, it's not going to happen. And then we'll have to fight me. him, won't we? I don't know how Black will react, but we can take it to him. But I warn you, this may end badly. Uh, I, I think I would rather stick with the Vagabonds and, and fight this guy if push comes to shove. Because this guy seems like a real piece of shit from like the, the notes and terminal entries, whatever, about them being slavers, human traffickers, etc., etc. Um... Black won't listen, then I won't bother. The vagabonds Hello? don't need peace to prosper. You still there? Ah, uh, we'll find a way through it. We have to. Let's go then. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Okay, we'll see what we can do here. You might be winning me over with the vagabonds. Come in, vagabond on the train. Come in. I've ordered the Isle of Dogs Syndicate for a temporary truce with you. I'll meet you at that. the station That's exit. No funny stuff. I've been ordered Look to where you're going. Up. Touch me. Didn't your mum teach? It's just good business. But I think I just and it's over. Mind the gap. I think I just zero summed Blind Nelson out of existence. <laughs> Is he? He's fucking gone. Mind the gap. I will never. You alright, Brian Nelson? Mind the gap is a good tagline. I like that. It's clever. It literally, when you're getting off the trains in the UK, it will literally just say, mind the gap. Because there's a gap. That's it. There's no greater meaning. There's no... I, I'm, I mean, obviously, they're using it meta metaphorically here for, you know, watch yourself. Be careful. Tread lightly. But that's all it means. Just mind mind the gap, you know. I like it. I think it's, I think it's a good tagline. I mean, it, it's that or like what? Every little helps. Fair enough. So I'm just going to nick all this. Whoa, it didn't mind the gap there, you see. 
Okay. I'm looking for that final cute Thulu doll. I'm hoping we grab one today, because then tomorrow, you know we're going to go do... up. Oh. Hold on, sorry. <clears throat> Make sure when you use escalators in the UK, you stand right in the middle and take as wide a stance as possible, because they move really slowly. It'd be a real shame if people were to try and walk behind you and get past. So make sure you stand bang in the center. <laughs> right. Where are we going? Oh, am I allowed to open this or they're going to be pissed off? Fuck them. What are they going to do? I'll kill them all. And to be fair, I probably could. But I'm not I'm not just going to... Part of me does want to be like, okay, let's go all in. See if this is finally a challenge for Tozuckle. I just don't want to do that. I think we could, but ultimately, what is it? What is it? it just boils down to, we're going to hack apart a bunch of them. It might be slightly challenging, and that'll be it. I'm not about that. I'm trying to be a better boy. Is it the Voltec logo? Are they perhaps in cahoots? Are the Pindar stations and Voltec perhaps in cahoots? Hope that's expanded a little bit. What's in that? Oh, hello. Beautiful. Hello there. Syndicate pup. Don't like, I, I don't know about that. I don't know if you're really inspiring fear in your enemies by referring to your foot soldiers as pups. Ooh-woo. Nuzzles your necky-wecky. Each companion has their own likes and dislikes. However, mostly it seems to be entirely dislikes. Toe, stop stealing that. Toe, stop bumping into me. Toe, wear a shirt. Grow up. Oh, here we are. We're back here again. Hello there. Hello. Uh, entering Tommy Soldier personality. Greetings, Wayfarer. Oh, he's Scottish now. I have now. some orders for you. High Command tasked me with tracking you down. Oh, yeah? Ah, uh, what do you need? HQ requires your assistance in locating a missing team of Tommies. They were dispatched to investigate a distress call emanating from an old Tower Hamlet's Pindar station. Ooh. Unfortunately, I do not have any more information on the matter, I'm I afraid. I guess this is because we helped them Mom's in the, the whole that. museum situation? All I know is the Tommies were dispatched in haste and did not report back. It is imperative that <laughs> HQ locate them and find out what happened. Okay. Sure. Uh, yes, sir. Roger, roger. I'll report to HQ that you roger, are on roger. route. We also detected a high radiation reading in the area, so be sure to take appropriate precautions. I will. Discover Don't you what worry. happened to the missing Tommies. Yeah. Either bring them back safely yeah. or bring something to show you found them. No bother, Chef. Now get to it, soldier. Yeah. I wish you the best of luck on your mission. I wish you the best of luck in flying around as a robot. What the fuck? Look where you're going. Oh, Blind Nelson. Why don't you look where you're going? Oh, sorry, Blind Nelson. It's a low-hanging fruit, Tozuckle. Good lord. Okay, here we are then. One Canada Square. And we might actually get to go upstairs. I wonder if the receptionist is still going to be decapitated from where I came here last time. People said that Tozuckle's a violent man. Can you believe that? Fucking rude. Uh, hello? Anyone here? No, she's, she's dead. Fires are killing me. The owner is now hostile. Like, fuck, fuck they are. Like, fuck they are. I'd like to see you try. <laughs> wow, I missed something over here. Oh, it's a cigarette card. Let's have a poke around. Bear in mind, we're only one cute Thulu from doing whatever the hell we do with that. So, might as well have a quick poke around and see if we can find one, eh? Open sesame. Ooh. Oh, this is lovely, isn't it? Look at this fucking place, huh? Oh, no, they are actually hostile. Oh, I hope I didn't just fuck the crest up. It was only protect, protect, pro, pro, protectrons. Legendary protectron watcher. Okay, I guess I'll avoid that. A touch. Hopefully, hopefully that won't ruin the quest. I don't think it will. I think we'll be fine. Don't panic. Right. Make sure all this stuff is hoovered up nicely. Oh, I need to swap to that other loot mod, don't I? So I'm not in a situation like this where I'm constantly going after junk that we really do not need. Bing! Going up. It says lift panel there, but it says elevator when you get in. Blind Nelson? Jesus, I think I'm... Oh, God, I must be Blind Nelson. I didn't see you there. Hmm. The lights on the fruits. So, oh, sorry, you can't see that, can you? Sorry, my bad. That, that one I genuinely didn't mean. And here we are. Put my weapon away. So you're the one they call the Wayfarer. I come in peace. All right there. Ah, uh, that's me. You don't look like much. But I suppose at the end of the day, neither do I. 
Uh, you got a scary... And Nelson's here. Scary slice. Good. You know where you are? Wayfarer? Uh, one Kennedy Square, mate. That's right. <laughs> I sit right at the top of here. You know what this place used to be before the world burned down? Uh... Starbucks? Uh, I got the feeling you're about to... Uh, somewhere for Canadians to hang out. Go on. Tozaka response. Very funny. But the truth is, this was the capital for financial trade in the world. It was like a temple to money itself. Billions flowing in and out every day. Businesses, houses, livelihoods, lives, all bought and sold. There was no room for emotion here. Living and dying was an abstract thing. All anyone cared for was value and how to generate more of it. People lost their souls here. Sucked up into the stream of the worship of money. That's the key, you see. That's what I've come to understand over the years. Tickets, pounds, shares, equity, cash, whatever you call it, it all has the same power. The power to own people's very uh, souls. Not me. That's I how I got Nelson so thoroughly. Sourdough. I could have just controlled him with uh, threats. Intimidation, blackmail, all effective enough mechanisms. But I wanted more. So I paid him. Not even very much. But he was a traitor and I paid him for it. And that very knowledge ate away at his soul. The guilt consuming him so utterly that he became my pliant puppet. Pliant puppet's a good reward name. Uh, all right. Yeah, I get it. Good. I hope you do. But it doesn't work on everyone. Some people have desires that go far beyond money. Young Gaunt, for instance. I would never have a hope of buying now. And I get the impression you're not so easily swayed either. Uh, depends what you're offering, What's pal. What's your fare? Wayfarer. Uh, enough tickets and I'll do anything. As long as I get to kill, I'm happy. It's no price for me. I do whatever prison me the most. Won't be happy till the whole world is mine. Um, just want to do what's best for those I care about. Oh, that's a good lad, isn't it? Yeah, go on. Interesting. Well, I have a proposition for you. You've been a nuisance to me. No two ways about it. You've been very bad for business. Have I been a naughty but boy? you've made a lot of openings too. Ooh. And I need to fill them. Oh. Simple fact is, I need people like you. I've been a bad boy and I'll fill your You'll join up with me, Black. perhaps we can both profit greatly. Oh, yes we can, Not just man. in cash, of course, but no, power, not just in cash. prestige, control, and perhaps even more besides. Frotting! I... Uh... I'm not here to become your dog. I have a county proposition. Yes, he's fire. Intriguing. Tell me more. Yeah, we've got the charisma for this squad. Stamping out all the vagabonds would cost you dear. No matter what resource you pull together, this constant feud is ridiculous. Trading blood while the real enemy profits overall. I think I've written that down right anyway. The real enemy. <laughs> the gentry. They will always be on top, but the people are rising against him. This is all too true. London is a boiling pot right now. And the gentry will just sit on the lid until the pressure bursts. But what are you proposing we do? Imagine what we could do if we stopped going for each other's throats and started working to raise our situate our stations in life. For now, I propose a ceasefire with established and respected areas of control. This is most interesting. This is very out of character. You You're speak right. to my heart, Wayfarer, oh, in a dear. way no other as before. Jesus, with but there's my two one charisma. intractable obstacle to this. Sebastian Gaunt. What is it? Nelson, you tell him. It's Gaunt. He'll never agree to a ceasefire. Precisely. So what are you going to do? Kill Sebastian Gaunt? I don't want to see the boy dead. The boy's going to get himself killed, one way or the other. 
The only question here is how. I'll tell you my mind on this. If this ceasefires to work, then the vagabonds need a change of culture and a change of leadership. And Wayfarer, you're the only one I can trust. You got the balls to come give me this offer to my face. Quite frankly, you impress me. If I can't own on you, the I can at least it? partner on the basis of mutual profit. And maybe more can come down the line. But Gaunt has to go. And you have to be the one to depose him, whilst keeping the rest of the vagabonds on your side. That's a good outcome. You feel up to that? Uh, all right, I'll do it. The vagabonds will follow me. Good. Then go make it happen. Nelson, you stick around so our associate here can get in touch via your radio. I'm investing a lot of faith in you here. I don't trust this man either. I don't need to clarify. He's clearly an awful, evil piece of shit man. But it's at least he's not good business. belittling me and says that he respects me somewhat, which is actually more... That's the nicest thing he's said. It's the nicest thing Tozok I think has ever heard. We're just going to have a poke around here for a while. Apparently there's some loot here. Ooh, what's that? Oh, it's a cigarette card. I can't steal it. Breaking the cycle. Talk to Gaunt. If we can talk him down, I don't mind attempting oh, to talk him down. Head. I feel like my eyes have been pushed out. Genuinely, skull. don't mind trying to attempt to talk him down. If it doesn't fucking work, it doesn't work. Okay, I'm not just gonna go in. Oh, hello, Celestial. I'm not just gonna go in there. Guns blazing. Oh, lovely bit of fish and chips with apple sauce. That's what we eat in the UK. We eat fish and chips and apple sauce. It's a common dish here. You look it up on Google. Fish, chips, and apple sauce. Like a murderer, full English. Uh, full English. Okay, sorry. That whole sentence doesn't make... I can murder a full English. I understand. Sounds a bit dodgy. If you don't understand any of the context there. So, uh, a full English is a full English breakfast. Depending on where you are, it's called something different. For example, in Scotland, it's called a full Scottish. Uh, in Northern Ireland, I assume it's called... Well, actually, I won't go into that because I don't know. And I wouldn't like to assume. Because I can only ever get it wrong. There's nothing to gain from that. Uh, I presume in the Republic, it's probably called Go a full a drink. Irish. Mate, I've been tucking into the flask all day. I can barely see straight. It's no cute Thulu, which I'm actually really surprised at, you know. Uh, and it's just a delicious, it's a delicious breakfast. I actually don't like it personally. Of um, bacon, eggs. Oh, I thought that was one then. It was that fucking fan. God damn me. Uh, bacon, eggs, hash browns, uh, black pudding. Toast, mushrooms. Have I forgotten anything? There's not mushroom for much else on that plate. <laughs> Cheeky little fucker showing his face around here. Oh, yeah, okay, calm down. Anyway, there's loads of shit on it, and then you eat it. But I'm not a big fan of it. It's like too much food. You Are know? you simple, mate? Waking up and immediately having an enormous meal just makes me want to go back to bed. So I don't understand people who have that. You don't have it every breakfast. That would be obviously be insane. Murder it as in like, uh, like you're going to eat it. Again, it's a bizarre expression if you've not, if, if you just think about it totally out of context. Say like, oh, I can murder a tea. It's saying like, oh, I really, really would like that. And I don't know why, I don't know why that expression exists. Because the implication is you would, you murder is something you should aspire to. <laughs> he says wielding his sacrificial blade. Oh, I can murder a rich tea. Which is not a drink. And I'll let you stew on that one. Right. Uh, so, now we go back. This could be the moment I've been waiting for my whole goddamn life, by the way. Your chances of successfully using stealth and staying hidden are affected by a variety of factors like light level, noise generated, clothing weight, comma, and enemy's line of sight. No Oxford comma in Fallout London is actually goddamn shameful. What's going on? Is black... Oh. What's going on? There we go. <laughs> Is Black dead? And where the bleed neck is Nelson? We're gearing up for an all-out war here, and I haven't heard shit from either of you. Right, I'm going to put it all out on the plate here. I'm here to negotiate a ceasefire. No, 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 let's start slow. I didn't kill Black, he's still alive. That's funny, because you were spotted entering one Canada square, and now you're here. Considering you still have a fucking head on your shoulders, you have some fucking explaining to do. Do you have any oh, idea fucking, how fucking, much fucking. time and resources we've invested in this? And you just want to call it a day? 
What kind of a weak need? Spineless, gutless, chicken shit move is I didn't that? Even tell him You're what I done, you hear me? Fire. You're done. He doesn't Go, even know what let's happened. hear him out. Thank you, appreciate that. What? We don't know Black's terms. If they're preferable uh, to I'm war, to, whoa, 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 then they're whoa, whoa, worth considering, ain't they? I cannot believe I'm hearing this. Fine. I haven't even mentioned the ceasefire. Winston and Johnny are in the lounge. I want this bollocks dealt with quickly. It isn't the fucking time for placard-wielding conscientious fucking objectors. Your fucking, fucking, fucking Winston, fucking black, fucking, fucking Jill Winston. Fucking Nelson. Fucking Isla Dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Also, what the hell kind of a thing is that to say? We've invested loads of resources into this war that's only going to cost us more resources by the time it's over. Surely you could just stop now and cut your losses? But that's, of course, not the objective. He wants them dead. Even though he's concerned about the resource investment. I could just slice his fucking head clean off his shoulders Touch right now. Touch me again and there'll be consequences. Yeah? Yeah, we'll see how that plays out, little man. My mother wanted me to be a farmer. But I get my hands dirty in other ways. Don't like it. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. Jesus, take your time. Oh, fuck this. Yeah, fuck your pool cue. <laughs> you didn't say the saber tooth said, huh? Fuck me again and you fucking you consequences. Back. Right, here we go. Hopefully all the lieutenants will get my back. And they'll say... You did a bang up job for me, thank right. you, appreciate that. Thomas Black's clearly a sitting duck without his lieutenants because he's running scared. So, he sent our tentative friend here to discuss terms of a ceasefire. Literally did not mention the ceasefire. Why once. we would want to give up when victory is in sight is clearly fucking lost on me. But we'll get to that there later. There was a hundred people in that building. First port of call. Where the fuck is Nelson? You look like this. Uh, Nelson's been working with the syndicate. Nelson's been working with the syndicate to end the war. Don't even get me started on you, you traitorous bastard. There's no neutrality in this. If you're not against the syndicate, you're with them. Go on, then. Black's terms. What happens to Bromley? Uh, no more wall. The vagabonds keep Bromley locked down, and so do the syndicate with more wall and tower hamlets. Uh, the Vagabonds keep Bromley in the surrounding areas, likewise for the Syndicate and Millwall. Fighting ends. Vagabonds control Bromley and all the areas around it. Same goes for the Syndicate with Tower Hamlets and Millwall. We get peace. We all get peace. Uh. Is there a problem? A ceasefire now oh. is better than a war. There's no the way. The Syndicate may have lost their lieutenant, oh, but they still have what greater numbers and firepower. He'd betray us as soon as we even, even look things like kick off. Oh dear. Would it be backs. so bad to let Black get complacent? Have We'd have more time to build our strength. And it's time for them to pay the price. They think they can just tap out whenever they feel like it. They think this is some sort of fucking cordial gangbang. We'd be seen as weak if we agreed to a ceasefire. Killing any and all momentum. The vagabonds there's would wither like, away into there's obscurity. Like 12 there's like There'd be no them. strength to build. They've got a skyscraper, right. you've got a pub. These bastards have it coming. A ceasefire would feel like surrender. Even with their numbers, we have an edge. We've got supply lines reaching deep into Millwall. We've got people in their own territory. We're ready for this. I can't say the same for Syndicate. Exactly. I can't say for certain, though. I'm willing to let the Wayfarer make their case. Well, there we have it. I got something to say. Go for it, Johnny. <laughs> you know me, Gaunt. I hate the dogs more than anyone, and I always will. <laughs> We're well aware, Johnny. But I was thinking, hey, maybe we could keep on hating them and just don't kill them. If it means they won't kill us, then why not? Let's keep on hating them, but in a peaceful way. They can keep on hating us if they want to. Doesn't matter to me. Let's hate, not war. You know what? He might actually be onto something there. Oh, shut up, both of you. The Syndicate don't want peace. That's a fantasy. You've kept it to yourself long enough. What's the catch? What are Black's full terms? Ah, uh, oh, you have to step down as leader of the vagabonds. Yeah, let's just say you have to go. <laughs> and there we have it. You must be joking. 
I'm not going anywhere. The Gaunts were running this town when you were wedding the bed. I know exactly how to get this job done, and I'm not about to let some wet behind the ears upstart come in and take my place. Why the hell would anyone follow you? Without me, the vagabonds would be directionless. You've done a great job so far. Uh, the vagabonds have been driven to near extinction under your leadership. Time for a change. Do you honestly think you have what it takes? You'd be a bloody nobody around here without me. Still floating around in your own piss. Everything you've done for us has been on my orders. That's You're a follower, true. not a leader. I didn't follow you your orders. You need respect <laughs> to be a leader. What have you done worth respecting? Not treat everyone like shit. Uh, dealt with the syndicate warehouse. That's true, boss. They put that warehouse out of action and looted the place. Fine. Maybe you're not completely useless. So what? Yeah, uh, what about the business with the mud chute? Yeah, that boat's a wreck thanks to the wayfarer. And all those civilians got freed. Fuck me. Fine. Does no one see the bigger picture? Yeah, uh, remember the train situation? To be fair, that supply train put a lot of food on people's tables. It was much appreciated. He's got a spiky Bollocks. nose. Forget the train. It's hardly of great importance, is it? Uh, I've made my case. What a load of bollocks. I've given everything to this gang. And you think you can waltz in here like Prince Siegfried and start running things? Come on, lads. Are you really going to take their side over mine? They might. Black's gotta go. Or this has all been for nothing. Just because we've spent ages doing something don't mean it's a good idea to keep doing it. What do you call that, Winston? Sunk cost fallacy. If Do you, you really believe out, Black will honor the ceasefire? Her. Why we should he? So he doesn't have to keep looking over his shoulder all the time. We're persistent bastards, but no one's more persistent than you. You can't do this to me. We're family. It's for the best, Seb. Let's give peace a chance. Keep on hating them, just like Johnny said. We'd be in good hands. And it's not like you'd have to leave us. We'd make sure you were taken care of. You too, Winston. I can't believe I'm fucking here in this. Winston the psychopath You're a there. disgrace, the lot of you. The cowardice is unbelievable. I'd be ashamed to even call myself You should call them all cowards, that's a good play. It's like you're all trying to outdo each other to see who can be the most gutless. You call them gutless, that'll help brother. as well. The Wayfarer takes the grand prize. It all makes sense now. You've been working for Black all along, ain't ya? Right from the start. Yeah, in the tube. You're going to pay for your treachery and pay dearly. Leave off it, Gorn. We found him in a test tube, for Christ's sake. Stay out of this, all of you. This is between me and him. Fucking yes, man. Fucking yes, man. Do you want to take it outside? Right, outside. If you try to run, you cunt. I'll break your fucking legs Don't and say use that. your kneecaps as an ashtray. Demonetized. Yes, mate. I'm gonna kill him. I'm absolutely gonna kill him. I'm gonna I'm gonna slice him to pieces. He's gonna take my weapon off me, isn't he? We're gonna have to do it bare knuckle. We're gonna have to do it bare knuckle. Oh no, apparently not. You're finished. Really? Come on. Right, okay, hold on then. <laughs> kill Gaunt. Oh, let's have a look then. Let's have some, uh, let's have some vodka, some gin, some hypo, some morphex, some nuka cherry, some jimmy hat. The jimmy hat is now. Let's have some roids, some whiskey, some clarity, some doctor leaves, some dexy. Let's have a nuka cola, an iron brew, a gruel. Literally just a place of shit. Let's have some wine, some more wine, some more wine, some pills, and a pale ale lager, uh, a brew, an ale, a lager, a stout, a craft beer, a cold beer, a cider, a regular beer. Uh, many different types of regular beer. Let's have a stout. Uh, listen, I've been waiting for this moment. Let's have a kid's meal. Let's have a four-leaf clover. Let's have some scotch, some bourbon, a zombie, some poison. Uh, let's have uh, moonshine. Let's have the best moonshine. Let's have a pot of tea. Let's have some rum. Let's have... Uh, you got to make sure these things don't drain strength. Careful there. Let's have uh, cod father. Let's have a hard cider, a can of protein, and uh, a Yorkshire pudding to top it all off. 
Then uh, I'm going to do one of these. I'm going to do some lessons to one of those. And then I'm going to cut his fucking head off his shoulders. Beautiful. And there it is. You're bloody haunt you. I've never been happier. I've actually never been happier. He had a gun called Amadeus. The, gar uh, the, the garrison was Gaunt's prized choice of weapon punch down the Isle of Dog Syndicate. Rock me, Amadeus. What does he do? I don't know. There it is. Beautiful. Uh, Gaunt's hat. Taking that. Amazing. Gaunt's outfit. Taking that. I'm taking his uh, his musket. I'm taking his eye patch. Uh, and then I'm going to... I was hoping Oops. it wouldn't come to that. Oh, I've still got him. Hell. Why the hell did he do that? Right. Some of the others won't be happy with Gaunt gone. It might take time, but they'll accept the Wayfarer. Peace is alien to most of us, but I have a feeling we might like it. Ears to our new leader. To, to our, our new leader. leader. Well, that was a bit fast, wasn't it? Ah, uh, to me. <laughs> uh, hey, to an, uh, peace and prosperity. To, to peace, peace and prosperity. And prosperity. <laughs> we'll take care of things here. Use Nelson's radio. Tell Black we accept his terms. Make sure he keeps his word. Good luck out there, boss. Good luck out there, boss. Wee, wee, wee. It's fun to stay at the Y, M, C. How am I going to do A? <laughs> it doesn't really work, does it? Um, I'm taking this with me. I'm taking this with me. So, uh, that'll probably do us for today, I think. Good job. I think we did some great work. And uh, I think we'll probably leave it there. We've got to find one more cute Thulu, which I can always go and look up, you know, worst case scenario. Uh, where's the fucking way out? Jesus Christ, look a fucking labyrinth in here. Look at this. Hold on. Where, where am I? Oh, dragging them over there. There you go. Um, yeah, thank you all for joining me today. It's been, it's been good. I don't know that I'm still... I, I, I'm still not on board with the character of Sebastian Gorn, but, you know, it's done now, isn't it? It's over. Jobs are good. We've really got to run all the way down the stairs. Oh, I'm leaving him there then. Fuck it. Leave him there naked. Can I chuck him out of a window? There's got to be something I can do with him. Still wasn't a big fan of the character of Sebastian Gorn, but you know what? It's over now. He's gone. Again, I feel like it might have all just been to make you dislike him on purpose so, <laughs> so that more you could um, shite done, never hurt anything. more bodies you say uh so that you could take his position as leader of the vagabonds or whatever but hey ho so that you, you would have more of a personal reason to get rid of the guy fair enough i guess thank you for joining me we'll come back soon bye bye